Hello guys and welcome back to another episode of Biology and of course today we are going to continue our study on cell structure and functions of what of a cell. All right and of course uh, this tutorial is brought to you by the one and only O3 Schools Jam app. All right it is like I said all you need to succeed in your exam. Okay, so, so I'm going to see later on I'm going to talk about the app later but please if you have an Android phone or you have a computer or a laptop make sure you want to get that app on your phone and you start practicing. As I'm going to see right now instead of you to go and get four pass questions for 6,000 error one now is 1,500 outside okay you can get this app that has all the pass questions inside it okay just for 3,000 error and also the, the lecture notes also so you do not need to bother about test books okay and likewise also there's what a challenge a mock challenge that you participate in every Saturday to test how prepared you are for the exam you see it's a real jam mock exam so it's not a it's not an exam that you are going there to play so you are competing with your mate Apart, apart from competing with your mate to win prizes, apart from winning prizes, you get used to how jam set that question and so many more. So all on the O3 School Jam app. Go ahead to Play Store immediately and download the app. All right, download the app immediately and activate just for three thousand. I asked at the time of shooting this video, it's going to increase later, so that when it does, you not say eh, the I watched the video saying it's three thousand. So by that time, it must have left you. All right. So now. I'm looking at the nucleus today, but before we begin, let's quickly take a, a question from the O3 School Jam app. This is a 2017 question, model one. Okay, the question said, which of the following structures controls the activities of the living cell? Okay, which of the following structure controls the activities of the living cell? All right, A, the nucleus, B, the centrosome, C, the chloroplast, D, the Golgi body. All right, so we're going to what, get back to this and answer some other questions, okay? At the end of this class, I always leave the questions to the end of the class so that you can stay true and learn. All right, because if you do not learn, all right, if you do not learn, you will not understand how to over answer the question to start with. And if you do not practice your past questions, you will not understand how Jam said their own question too. So if you like, keep playing, watch one minute and go. That's your business. All right, I'm trying to help you. If you're not helping yourself, that is your own business. All right, so please get the app, download it, activate it. All right, so uh, let's begin with the new clause today. In the last episode, we'll look at what? Uh, the organelles, okay? The cell organelles, and we we'll say that there are what? Eight, what? Uh, uh, major cell organelles are what I'm going to look at, okay? And of course, we started with the nucleus. So the nucleus is the first one we're looking at today. So, all right, so the nucleus is, is called what? The cell's command center. He said it, it called the cell's command center or the cell control center, okay? Or the cell will command center all what the control what units sorry control unit of what or control center control unit of the cell okay we we'll call it the command center or the control units okay of the cell okay um this uh, nucleus contains what we call the dna contains dna which means the oxyribonucleic acid Okay, it means what the oxyribonucleic acid, which what determines everything about you. Okay, so the DNA what con uh, determines what everything what about you. All right, uh, it carries what your your even your hereditary information. Okay, so the DNA what uh, uh, the, the the nucleus. Okay, the nucleus carries what contains what the DNA, which determines everything about you. That means it's basically what controls you. It basically controls you, all right? So I'll go over that again and say that what that, the nucleus is called the cell's command center, or what the cell would control what unit, okay? We call the control unit of what of the cell, or the cell's command center, all right? And I say that what it contains what the DNA, the DNA, the oxyribonucleic nucleic acid, which what determines everything about you. Okay, that means it basically what controls you. It basically controls you. All right, and of course, this um, the nucleus is what is covered what by a membrane that we call what the nuclear envelope. It's covered by a membrane that we call the nuclear envelope. The nuclear envelope. Okay, so it's surrounded by what? By a membrane that we call the nuclear what? Envelope. This nuclear envelope is what? It's a double membrane. It's a double membrane. That means that, means that, that, means that it has what? Two layers. Two layers. It has layer one, layer one, and layer two. 
Okay, so this what nuclear envelope has for two, uh, and it's a what? It's a membrane that covers what the nucleus of the cell, and I said that what it has what two layers? It's a double membrane. That's layer one and layer two. All right. What is the function of what of this what nuclear what envelope? All right. This nuclear envelope has tiny pores. It has what tiny pores that ha that helps to what controls what enters or what what exits the nucleus. It has what it contains what tiny pores that what controls what what enters or what what leaves what nucleus. The nucleus is a very very important what uh, cell organelle. It's a very very important cell organelle. So because of that, we cannot just allow anything to go in and out of the nucleus. Okay, we cannot just allow anything to go in and out of the nucleus because of that. This what uh, nuclear envelope. It has what. It has what uh, protein structures. It has protein structure that we call the pore complex. That we call what the pore complex. The pore, P-O, pore complex. Okay, it has a protein structure that we call what the pore what complex. This pore complex, okay, it, it helps to what helps to safeguard the what the nuclear pore. It helps to safeguard the nuclear pore. So because the nucleus is very important and we cannot allow anything to just what enter and leave the what the nucleus. It has what this protein structure called what the nuclear pore. Uh, or this, they call what the pore complex that helps that helps to safeguard what the nucleus so that anything cannot just enter and what and leave what the nucleus. So the function of what of this pore complex it what it will safeguard what the nucleus okay it will safeguard the nuclear the nuclear what pore all right so i've known that also it's also very important to know that your genetic information your genetic information is stored in the nucleus of the cell your genetic what information is stored in the nucleus of the cell and that genetic information will be what will be your dna will be your dna will be your dna and the proteins and the proteins that what that modify it will be what your DNA and the proteins that what that modify it. All right. So we say that your genetic information is stored in the nucleus of the cell. Some of you wonder why we not touch this one. We'll get to it so that I do not miss any part because for your exam you need to what not miss anything out. So so that I do not miss anything out of this. That's why I what I brought this out. I'm going to go over it when we are done. Just focus on what I am teaching for now. All right. So, like I said, your your genetic information is stored in the nucleus of what of the cell, and that will be what your DNA and what and the proteins that what that modify it together. This DNA and the proteins that modify it, together they are called chromatin. Together they are called chromatin. C R O C H R O M A T I N. Together they are called what? Chromatin. This chromatin, they are arranged in structures. They are arranged in structures that are called chromosomes. I'll go over that again. I said your genetic information is what is stored in the what in the nucleus of what of the cell. Okay, and I said that will be what your DNA, your D or the ribonucleic acid, and the proteins that modify it. All right, and I said I was together this DNA and the proteins that modify it are called what the chromatin, and of course, and I said what the chromatin they are arranged in structures that are called what the chromosomes. All right, so and also it's very important that to know that what. There are 23 chromosomes in what in every cell for what for humans in humans there are what 23 chromosomes in every cell 23 chromosomes in humans there are what 23 what chromosomes in every cell and this and these 23 chromosomes they are not easily what identifiable they are not easily what distinguish distinguishable all right they are not easily what distinguishable in a what in a non dividing cell so when the cell is in it in is in its regular state. When the cell is not what dividing in a non-dividing cell, you cannot usually what tell the difference between what this what chromosomes because they are usually what lose. Okay, when the cell is not dividing, they are usually what lose, and because they are usually lose, you cannot what easily what differentiate what then they are usually what you see then you see them like a mass. You just see a mass of chromosome. Okay, you see you see a mass of chromosome together when they are what not dividing. Okay, but when they are in a dividing cell. In a, in the, sorry, in a what? In a dividing cell now, in a dividing cell, the what? The chromosomes are what? They are differentiable. They are what? They are distinguishable. You can easily tell the difference between one chromosome for the other. You can, easily you can easily tell that this chromosome is different from this other chromosome in a what? In a dividing cell. But in a non dividing cell, it is difficult to what? To distinguish what them. All right? So, the part, okay, where what? The chromosomes are most densely packed. 
the place or the part where the chromosomes are most densely packed is called the nucleolus. Okay, that is the nucleolus here. I'm going to talk about it soon. I'm going to read this so that what we also want to explain. Okay, so the parts where what the chromosomes are most densely packed are called what the called the nucleolus. All right. So please just take note of all these important things that what we have said today. We said that your that your, that your genetic information is stored in what in the nucleus of what of the cell, and that will be the DNA and the proteins that modify it. And I said together, the DNA and the proteins that modify it together, they are called the chromatin. And I said the chromatin are arranged in, in, what, in, what, in, in special structures, arranged in structures called what, the chromosomes. And I said that what, there are what, 23 what, chromosomes in what, in a cell, in every cell for what, for humans. So for humans, there are 23 chromosomes in every cell. So we are going to this now. So that I do not miss anything out of it. Okay, please, before we continue that, please make sure you have liked this video. If you have not like, I'm saying I'm kneeling down. I'm standing kneeling. Please click on what? On that what? Like button. That button that does like this. Just click on the like button. It's just to what? Make other students easily find this video. And of course, if you have not what, subscribed to this channel, subscription is free. F-R-O-E-E. -E. So just click on that red subscribe button and what? And anytime we release a new video, you get a notification on your phone that we have released a new video. All right? So please keep sharing. Let others join and learn. Then of course, I would say the largest cell organelle is what is the nucleus. Okay, so among all the other, among all the organelles, the nucleus is the largest, and it is the one that we can easily what observe under what under a light microscope. Please take note of that. I think this is in the past question. Okay, so it is what the largest cell organelle, and it is the one that we can easily what observe under what under the what under the microscope. Okay, so it is the largest. Others are very very small. They are very very small. All right. So now. We say it is surrounded by double, double layer nuclear membrane. Like I said before, that's what it, uh, it, it has. What a nuclear envelope that that's what that's a double membrane that has two layers, layer one and two. I've explained. You see that is not making sense because I've already explained, right? Okay. So we say it is surrounded by a double layer nuclear membrane. So in case you want to take a note. This is very, very, very useful. So with the one I've explained with this note, you are good to what to go. All right. So I said it is surrounded by a double layer nuclear membrane, which makes up the nuclear envelope. Okay. I said it also consists of a viscous liquid known as the nucleoplasm. Okay. Consists of, of a viscous liquid known as what? As the nucleoplasm. Please take note of that. It has what it contains what a viscous liquid that we call the nucle nucleoplasm. All right, now all the cariolins. Now the nucleus contains information for the synthesis of what of protein. Okay, the nucleus contains information for the synthesis of protein. It contains information for the synthesis of protein. I will say it consists of a dark stained body referred to as the nucleus. And I say that what the part of the nucleus where the chromosomes are most densely packed together is called what the nucleus also. Okay, so take note of that. It consists of a dark stained body referred to as the nucleus, which is the site for the formation of ribosomes okay this nucleus is the site for the formation of what of ribosomes take note of that the nucleus is the site for the formation of ribosomes now say the nucleus controls i've seen the functions of the nucleus now the nucleus controls the function of the nucleus is to control okay and regulate the activities of the cell just like that first question we saw before we began okay the function of the nucleus is what is to control and regulate the activities of the cell but that is what eg growth and what and metabolism okay to regulate growth is to regulate what metabolism and they say and carries the genes carries what the genes like i say what the nucleus the, the genetic information is stored in the nucleus of the cell okay so it carries what the genes that is structures that carry what hereditary information structure that contain hereditary what information so this is all you need to know about what the nucleus very very easy all right so it's the nucleus in your body so <laughs> you should be able to what, to relate to it it's very very easy so there's nothing difficult about what the nucleus so i want to take questions from the o3 school jump up about what the nucleus and then of course to cement our learning and our understanding about what the cell organ is called what the nucleus now let's quickly look at uh, uh the o3 school jump up so if you don't have your app please 
go to play store immediately now and we'll download it download the application on your phone download it on your phone and we'll start practicing immediately you have nothing to lose okay you have nothing to lose okay as, I, as i'm talking to you now it's just three thousand era for activation all right so please download the application start practicing you have nothing to, to worry about in your exam now let's take a question this is a 2023 question number 14 2023 question number 14 it says which of the following is responsible for storing and transmitting genetic information in cells okay which of the following is responsible for storing and transmitting genetic information in what in cells and i told you that what that what genetic information is stored in the nucleus of the cell so a they say mitochondria b they say nucleus c they say cell membrane d they say endoplastic reticulum and of course you know your correct answer there will be what will be the nucleus option b very simple right now let's see another question this is 1999 question number five in 1999 question number five it said the structure that is most commonly identified in all living cells under the light microscope like we say the nucleus is the largest cell organ and it is the only one that can work that can be what this thing that can be identified under what the microscope under the light microscope so a they say mitochondrium b they say chloroplast c they say nucleus d they say ribosome and of course i already talked about that and the answer there is what is option c which is the nucleus you see questions on that nucleus all right so this is a 2017 question also number seven 2017 number seven it says which of the following structures controls the activities of the living cell okay we say the function of the nucleus is to what to control and regulate the activities of the cell e.g. growth and metabolism so our answer there also without reading the options would be what would be nucleus all right a they say nucleus b they say centrosome c chloroplast d golgi body and answer there is what is a the nucleus then let's go to the uh fourth question they say the organic molecules present in the nucleus is or are the organic molecules present in the nucleus is or are a they say dna b they say protein which we'll talk about dna and what an RNA, RNA, C they say ATP and RNA, D they say RNA. Our uh, correct answer of what be protein, DNA, and what an RNA. Okay, an RNA. All right. So now, uh, uh, the ribonucleic acid is what is present in all living cells. The RNA is present in all living cells, so it's present in the nucleus of what of the cell. Okay. Now let's look at what 2010, 2010 question number three. Uh, 2010 number three is a, which of the following is not a function of the nucleus of the cell it's not a function of the nucleus of the cell a they say it controls the processes of the cell okay which of them no join which of the following is, is not it's not they say a it controls the life processes of the cell b they say it translates genetic information for the manufacture of protein c they say it stores and carries hereditary information and saying we say D is a reservoir of energy for the cell. So as you can see from the first one, it is A, it's correct. They say it controls the life process of the cell. The nucleus does that. And B, they say it translates genetic information, okay? And the DNA, okay, like I also say what it contains, what structure that contains, what hereditary, what information, okay? And I say that what C, it stores and carries hereditary information, which is also part of it. But it is not a reservoir of energy. It is not a reservoir of energy. That would be the mitochondria. So when we get to what mito uh, mitochondria, we are going to what? What we'll talk about what the mitochondria, all right? So the reservoir, okay, the one that restores energy for the cell is what is the mitochondria, the powerhouse of the cell. So we're going to we'll get to that part. All right, so so for now, this is what we need to know about the nucleus. And of course, please, there are thousands of other questions on this auto school jump app. So please head to Play Store immediately, download the app and what activate and start practicing your way to success. And my name is Masati. I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you for watching.